This is a controversial statement. UFOs and UAP don't exist. Well, that got you. Actually, it's a very interesting debate. Do UFOs actually exist in our physical reality or do they only exist in our internal consciousness? This could be a phenomenon of the mind itself. There, one reason I say that is because in my research in psychic abilities, I see parallels between how the mind functions psychically and how UFOs, um, how they move through space and time. They seem to know where, let's say uh, in a recent example, there are some fighter jets and they're being ordered to go to a cat point and the UFOs that they hope to see arrive there before somehow the UFOs knew where the jets were flying. Yeah. So they're showing precognition mm -hmm. and the ability to suddenly disappear. That's a classical psychic ability, uh, knowing the minds of others, precognition, retrocognition, the ability to disappear, to move through matter. These are all classical psychic powers for people who meditate for, for their whole lives. They can develop these abilities. So that UFOs are doing the same thing that yogis meditating in caves or in jungles, they have the same ability. It tells me that maybe the people who are driving the UFOs or the UFOs themselves know something about the unity of consciousness and the fabric of space-time. Maybe they know the same thing that these yogis do and they've just amplified it with the use of technology or by some other means. This might not be about electromagnetism in many cases. It could be about space of reality itself. If we consider that consciousness might be the fundamental basis of reality instead of the physical world. What a fascinating idea. Now, I approach the whole subject of UFOs and UAP as Mr. Nuts and Bolts. I like the idea of the physical reality of a craft from another universe visiting Earth. But just maybe they don't work like that. <laughs> Hey viewers, welcome back. Today let's look at the evidence. Do UFOs really exist? So you, like me, have all done this. We go out in our garden and we look up at the sky, hoping that one day we might see the highly strange, the UAP, the flying saucer. And what do we see? Nothing. One of the immense hurdles to prove whether UFOs are real is the military and secrecy. When the US Navy shot these famous videos, they recorded them using classified sensors. They don't want to reveal what they see and how they work. So we can't really scientifically dissect what they really saw. One of the first things that Professor Avi Loeb from Harvard University did was to set up his Galileo project to actually use scientific sensors, not classified military sensors. He put up cameras and audio and radar whose results when they saw a UFO could be in the public domain and we could actually analyze the spectrum, the sound, the high resolution pictures we've all been dreaming of. And what has he found? Nothing. You would think from media stories and government interests that UAP would be all over the place every single day. We'd all be seeing them. They're a global phenomenon. They're extraterrestrials surveying Earth. Well, hardly any are actually seen and the ones recorded are frankly pathetic. People who've looked into the UFO phenomenon have all found the same thing. 80% are just everyday, easily explained objects that are being misidentified by our limited sensors or knowledge. Leaving an interesting 20% which are either secret or genuinely highly strange. And in my humble, Oh, actually, I'm not very humble. In my opinion, the Navy, let's call them the Nimitz videos, are pretty rubbish. 
I think this video probably might be a bird. I think this video is the worst. I think it's almost definitely a heat source glare, as Mick West would say, from another aeroplane, a human aeroplane. But that leaves the Tic Tac video. And I think the Tic Tac video is very interesting because it demonstrates a number of characteristics that make it not real. Now, hang on a minute. I actually think he saw something. I think he saw something very strange. It might be man-made, but if it isn't, the Tic Tac video has a whole number of characteristics that put it in the human consciousness expanded reality draw rather than the nuts and bolts draw. Number one, it apparently appeared, disappeared, and moved faster than the normal laws of physics. Number two, which is often ignored, Commander Fravor says he saw the Tic Tac for over five minutes, but his wing person, Commander Dietrich, said that the whole Tic Tac sighting only lasted about 30 seconds. Aha! And I think the number one revelation that possibly puts the Tic Tac into expanded consciousness and not physical reality is the CAP point. The cap point. Fravor and the other F-18s had all pre-planned to fly back to a hold point, a CAP point, before circling and then landing shoom, shoom, back to the aircraft carrier. Why did the UFO, the Tic Tac, the UAP, know to go to the CAP point? But you're all screaming in the back, but other people saw it. It was on radar. The Princeton had it on their scopes. Yes. Now, I don't like to shy away from being controversial, as you know. Is it possible that the Tic Tac UAP could only be seen by a select number of people? If you were on a ship, underneath Fravor and Dietrich when they were watching the Tic Tac, it's quite possible you wouldn't see it. Paul Devereux, the world's leading expert on Earth lights, describes exactly that phenomenon. He has reports of people seeing Earth lights, a pillar of light or a bar of blue light across the road, he said, where some people from one side of the road could see it and the others saw nothing. At the fascinating, but controversial, Skinwalker Ranch, some people see things that others don't at the same time. So is there a bigger reality here? Are UAP, UFOs, flying saucers, angels and demons, all from the mists of time, actually only seen by a select few? The answer is yes, most of us go out in a garden and see nothing. Why do some people swear blind and actually see something which they believe in and others don't? Is it possible they are extraterrestrial or interdimensional visitors who know something about the bigger nature of reality? I've often described how we live in this bubble of being human with limited senses. So it's just possible all those rules of precognition of disappearing, of reappearing, of moving through solid space, through walls, into medium, sea, air, space, all might be because they only exist in a higher consciousness. Who knows, but it's the type of subject I like discussing with you. If you enjoyed this subject, share, like, and give it a thumbs up, because the truth is out there.